Welcome to the Oryx Development Studio installation video. In this video I will guide you through the following steps. First we need to open a browser and go to the given web page infinity.com slash Oryx Development Studio. Then I will show you where to find the download files. To install ADS you need the Infineon toolbox which provides a huge number of tools for different types of Infineon products including ADS. This tool will help you to keep informed if new versions for the ADS are available. After downloading the toolbox we will create an Infineon account which is required to download and install ADS. At this point I would ask you to connect your Oryx Lite kit with a data USB cable to your PC. Please make sure that it is a data cable. Charging cable will not work here for obvious reasons. Last but not least, we need to make sure that the board is correctly recognized by your PC. This means all drivers are installed correctly. Therefore, we will use the Infineon DAS device access server, which allows us to connect our Oryx board via USB to the PC. Okay, let's go first to the link and click download the ADS tool. Here we will say install. But as mentioned before, the toolbox is required. So we just follow the link here again and say download now. This will take a couple of seconds. Okay, we open the file and run the installation. Okay, let's launch the toolbox and finish. Now we will try to install ADS again, but this time it will require that we need an account for Infineon. So we say login and now start the procedure to create a new account. So please put in your first name, your last name. I'm putting here the United States company. Please put in your company here. Your email address. Make a nice password. And create account. Yes, it says Infineon tool requesting permission for the following. So standard user info attribute, user profile information and so on. Just go allow or check accordingly. And now finally, as we are logged in successfully, we can go now to the Oryx Development Studio and click the install button. And the download begins, which will take a while. So I will shorten up. Yes, the download is done. And now we can start installation. Yeah, create a desk uh, shortcut and let it run. And this will take again a while. I shortened it up here. Now we don't want to launch it. We will verify that all the drivers are installed correctly. For that, please start the DAS device scanner. Okay, so as you can see, there is only one uh, server available. Uh, make sure that it is running. If it's not running, just press the start button over here. And what we need to see is at this point, that one of the Trico families is 
recognized. So let me connect my board and there it is. If you see that Trico family board recognized that at this point we have achieved our goals.